they real? Are they even real? Who gives a shit if you just want validation? Myriad of mush. But it's true. Power, symbolism, and I chose it. Hi, I'm Neo. I wanted to make this video because I find it sort of difficult to relate to people in general. Where I live, I don't really find that many people that I can relate to, and since travel is not an option right now, I uh, can't go and see any of my friends uh, abroad. So here where I am at, uh, which is in the south, east of the United States. It is not very much flourishing with artistic culture. I thought maybe I would come on here and see if anyone can relate to me from the internet because that is international, isn't it? Today I just really wanted to talk about this idea that I've been trying to integrate maybe into my daily life hopefully that I think is really this gooey process of delving into that uh, subconscious mind of yours, very uh, Jungian. I came up with doing it f for myself uh, after going to therapy and my therapist was doing this like a mind mapping exercise in a way where she had a whiteboard and she was uh, asking me what do you feel right now and I said that I felt really sensitive and she was asking me to to sort of bring sensitive forward out in front of me and look at it and what does it look like what shape is it and we would go from there what sensitive job and uh and then it would eventually end up severing off into this other kind of emotion that was making it difficult for me to feel sensitive because i have this other aspect of myself that is very forefront we call it don't be fake this don't be fake is for myself and for everyone I come in contact with, I'm just constantly feeling like, are you or me or whatever, are you actually feeling those emotions or are you just saying them out loud to get attention or bringing them up to get attention? Or are they real? Are they even real? Or do I just want validation, I guess? And it blocks my ability to feel sensitivity and there's other branches off of there that are like this protector emotion that's like, hey, shut the f up. Just let people feel, let yourself feel. Don't overanalyze every little thing. Just let people feel and let yourself feel. It doesn't have to be, it's not that deep. Who gives a shit if you just want validation? Who gives a shit if other people just want validation? Just feel what you feel like feeling right then and stop judging yourself and stop judging others. You don't want to block out that emotion. You don't want to block out that whole entire aspect of yourself which is don't be fake. You don't want to block it out because then it just comes out stronger because it's angry and I really feel that lately and it's so overwhelming and and this emotion which is don't be fake really stems a lot of other emotions off of it. A lot of other things and issues that are in my life directly off of the don't be fake. It's like a myriad of mush thought that it was a helpful thing for me to put sort of a face to the emotion in a way it's not really a face but symbolism and physicality of an it outside of myself it's an it which was also an interesting thing my therapist was like do you want to call it uh she he they or it or what and i chose it and i don't know why it's just this projected aspect of myself but it's also uh, feels very separated when i look at it right directly in front of me and try to trivialize it and give it a form and a shape and a color i guess i just wanted to talk about this and and i thought that it was really helpful for me and it might continue to be helpful for me and we'll see what it ends up bringing up for me or what it ends up doing for me because i'm not sure yet it felt pretty decent in the moment and now i feel all of these tricklings and rushings and cold dews of 
more understanding and sweatiness that comes out. But it's outside of me, you know? It's coming outside of me. And I guess that's what's supposed to happen. It's sort of these things rising to the surface and very bubbly. And then it's in front of me, but it's still this sort of transparent smoke attached to that inside space, attached to the it. <sighs> so these bad boys are my two main emotions of therapy a few days ago. This one is don't be fake, that's what I call it. That one is sensitive. I feel a lot of things from this one. I feel like it looks sort of evil. That's not bad. They're just aspects of ourself that are really oozy. They come out all the time, but you don't want to get rid of them. And I don't really know what you want to do with them, but trying to get rid of them just usually makes them worse, makes them upset and invalidated. And they're not valid because they're right, but they're valid because they're there for a reason. They're an aspect of yourself that was created through some sort of combustion didn't have to be combustion it could have just been this sort of slow burning chinese water torture don't be fake what's definitely created through pain and desolation those emotions are sort of inspiring aren't they and i wish that these muddy sticky emotions weren't so inspiring and that is sensitive and it's sort of like listen to me hear me like i'm here why won't you pay attention to me or just let me breathe and i do let it breathe all the time really all the time really easy for me to evoke both of these emotions both of these pieces of myself and it's sort of transparent no translucent what's the one where you can sort of see through it but not all the way i don't know i think translucent it's sort of translucent and blue and see i don't think these are tears necessarily but it's some sort of foggy overwhelming and warm and cold and soft and harsh that sounded really dumb but and i think that i put this little white dot here there's another one over there but it's pretty light or dark colored so it doesn't even look that white but i put those there because there's always light inside i don't know if that's cheesy but it is but there's always light inside no matter what or maybe i just watched legend of Korra season two but it's true there's always light inside light will always eventually grow and that's sort of what this is is i'm not trying to make it go away but i'm trying to maybe let it become enveloped in light and i don't know for both of these if it's possible to ever get away from that pendulum of swinging in life constantly. Oh my God, everyone is not real and against me and they hate me and I don't want to be around them anyways. And then, whoosh, oh wow, everything is so intense and passionate and sparkly and big and grand and i want to be a part of it and it's bursting and it's a f***ing water balloon filled with i'm here -ness. and then it's sort of like in the middle just boredom and what the f*** am i doing and you know it's usually on this side that i make art you know or i really feel inspired because the thing is this side gets me so inspired because it's so passionate but but i'm so caught up in the passion of everything like this side really is more like entropy even though this side seems like it would be chaotic right because it's all like scary looking but it's not really it's sort of like i'm shutting everything out i'm nothing or i'm not nothing but it's like am i nothing this side is disillusionment and this side is i love the illusion I'm going to use white paper this time. Hmm? I don't really like white paper. I feel like it's harder, I don't know. I just find it more difficult to get the colors that I want on white paper for some reason, but we'll see how it, how it turns out.
it started out as fear, which I know probably doesn't seem like it because it looks so happy and colorful. I did want it to be colorful. I don't want to see fear as this deep, dark, scary thing just because it's always portrayed that way. It started out as fear and it's still fear in a sense but it's mostly now my desire or attempts at conquering fear, I suppose. It's certainly relevant for my today mood. This application of trying to pour love into fear. I had a dream last night, well, a nightmare. There was this, it was really scary, and it was pulling fear out of me. It was like pulling it out and I felt so scared and it was pulling it and it was feeding off of it. And I woke up and it felt like it was still there. Leave, get away, go away from me. But then I realized that that just sort of gives it power. I decided that I would try to understand it and love it in a way. And just, I understand you, I get it, it's hard. and. You're angry and you're lost and you're dark or maybe you're not lost, maybe you want to be that way and that's fine, I understand that. I want to be that way a lot of the time too. Try to show this compassion towards it and be like, it's okay, it's okay. And also try to not give the fear that much energy. Go inside of myself in blankness. That's I guess sort of what I'm portraying here in a way. And I'm not saying that this is good or anything, it's not like that at all. Uh, automatic drawing, me trying to pour this light into the darkness. And the fragmentation, the fracturing, which I guess makes the rainbows, doesn't it? The video actually cut out, I ran out of storage space at one point and I thought it was the end. I finished it and I looked and the video wasn't recording anymore and I was sort of like honestly I'm I'm a little bit glad that it didn't film the very end then I realized that I wanted to add a little bit more to it I guess you did get the ending but maybe it's sort of a pseudo ending but maybe not maybe it's supposed to be this way I don't know who knows this is the drawing of daily emotion hope it's not too pretentious that was don't be fake talking you know being like, oh, do you really feel that way? Or is it played up? But no, like, I don't know. This is how I feel. Not just this, but I wanted to make this and so I did. And I made the other ones because I wanted to and I wanted to share it. And it was helpful to me. And I liked it. It was fun. Try it out. Post a picture on Instagram. Tag me on that. Or DM me. I don't know. I'll leave my Instagram below. Always plug in. Anyways, I'm just trying to find people and I'm trying to find inspiration in a lot of things and I really get inspired by people but I'm trying not to be that way anymore but I still want to connect as we all do. Quarantine's lonely. All right, bye.